Hello YouTube. My name's Richard Van. I president of the West Virginia Coin Miners Association. And uh, today we're going to do the Love's Ultra Leak Guard test. <laughs> A little humor there. I'm going to um, one up Monty's nail board and I'm going to show you what some machines can do that I think people have missed out on and uh, hopefully uh, you guys can get out there and experiment and help me a little bit and these are this test here is going to show you notch versus uh, rotary dial discrimination what a notch discriminated metal detector can do what I have here is this brand new super modern Garrett's Power Master GTI 1500. I bought this used on eBay. It came from an old man who bought it from Clevenger's Metal Detecting there in Kansas City. I modified the, the pole, got rid, rid of the green, and um, uh, got this little uh, Garrett Super Sniper coil on. So what I want to show you is what I've done is uh, I went in there to my custom modes and you might be able to see what's notched in, notched out. But the most important thing is to watch what this bad boy does. And you're going to have to trust me, there's nothing under all of this stuff. But I want to do a um, recovery speed. Give me a second. Because man, these things have the fastest recovery speed ever. I just want you all to watch the recovery speed on this thing. Forgive me for making y'all dizzy. So, we'll operate. Sucks recovery speed, doesn't it? That, that just sucks. That ain't fast. You gotta hit it like that. Old timey machine. Now I'm gonna show you a square nail. I'll get the quarter out of the way. That baby was picking the quarter up. Nothing there. Bent nail. Maybe if I film it this way. Bent nail. Square. Every once in a while, I hit. Hang on one second. I got. A 25 caliber casing that rings off like a nickel. Square pull tab. Nails. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to put the dime there. This is hard to film and do yourself. There's the dime, and here we go. And let me... Not real impressed yet, are we? All right, let's add the other nail. Let's put that bad boy in there. That coil's hot. It, it's picking up the... Uh, I got to watch how... There we go. See, not a fast recovering metal detector. But look at that. That passed the two nails. Now let's just get something right on here with it. Let's let's put this pull tab, square tab, see what happens. Oh my god, I have a beep and dig machine. It's coming up a nickel on the ID, but I don't care. Because I already know everything's disked out. And what's happening here is I've learned that averaging that 
and that are coming out. And I discriminated out each one, and then I piled everything on top of each other, nails and everything, without the coin. And you can do this on your others. Now, let's just do a beep uh, bent nail and see what we get here. Still, there's my bullet. There's the square nail. And there's my fast recovery. Look how slow you got to do to hit them. Now watch. Got it to coil overload. You, you all watching this. This is on a dime. Buried by pool tabs. Nails. Get it to down four. This is a sensitive machine. It's deep. I mean, look how high I can get that little coil. Now, what I found out was these machines are all average. And these Garrett's I was playing with. So I went in there and, and averaged everything out. Didn't give a crap about how many tones, the correct ID. I knew that my pool tabs and nails and square nails are notched out so this is a coin program with a notch discrimination and yes it's reading a nickel under all that but i'm getting the dig i know that a pool tab won't register and i know a nickel will and even though that's a dime why would you not dig it so i'm going to show some other detectors i can do this with the mx5 the white mx7 I'm going to try the uh, Fisher F5 and don't care about correct ID. I just want to notch everything out and then put them all together in a pile and average them and notch out the average and then see if my coins pass. And if the coins pass, um, hey, you got a beep and dig machine better than a Tesoro and iron and trash than anything. So uh, forgive me for the bad video, but I'm hoping you get the gist of this. Uh, I will be back.